lovely Cancer. It's time for your September love forecast. Um, so excited to read for you today. Um, I know you guys have been waiting patiently. I apologize. Um, I just do what feels right. Um, I only do one reading a day. Um, and well, for the love forecast anyway, because uh, they just take so long for me to post process on YouTube. So um, anyways, if you would like a private reading with me, please email me at the good, the bad, and the tarot at gmail.com. My readings are 15 minutes. They cost $20. I accept PayPal. I'm still working on other payment options such as uh, Google Wallet and Chase Quick Pay. But right for right now, it's just PayPal. Um, what else? Uh, yes, the readings will be, can either be live over Skype at the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot, which is my Skype name, or uh, I can do pre-recorded private readings for you. Um, I do not have a limit to how many questions you may ask. I only uh, say that the question should be, uh, the question should take me at least 15 to 20 minutes to answer. So if you give me 10 questions, I'm only going to be able to spend two minutes on each of those questions in order to get them done properly. So that should, you know, satisfy your uh, curiosity if you're wondering how to contact me for a reading. Spirit, what are the messages for Cancer? Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. Spirit, what are the messages for Cancer for their love forecast? Spirit, tell me the messages for their love forecast for September 2015 for the sign of Cancer. Cancer the Crab. What are the love messages for Cancer the Crab for September 2015 for their sun, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising? What are the messages, Spirit? Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. I will be doing a Celtic Cross spread today for your reading and pulling an oracle card as I usually do along with the rune casting. Yes, I am now doing rune casting as part of my readings. Part of my practice. Spirit, show me the messages for Cancer for their love forecast for September. I will be pulling an oracle card for your reading. So let me go ahead and do that now. These are a bit harder to shuffle. Spirit, what is the oracle message for their love forecast for Cancer for September 2015? going 
to be doing a rune cast today as well for you all. Okay. I'm going to be reading the runes that are not face up. Those are the unknowns. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rune all the way over here on my left side, or on your right side, on your right hand side. I have a rune all the way over here, sort of out of the picture, but we'll look at that later. Let's proceed with your reading. We have the Justice card in the present situation. Crossed by the Five of Pentacles. What comes below you is the King of Cups. What comes above you is the Ace of Wands reversed. What comes in your past is the Judgment. What comes in your future is the Four of Swords. What comes how you see yourself is the Star reversed. How they see you is the Hanged Man. Your hopes and fears are the Queen of Swords, and your outcome is the Nine of Wands, but it's reversed. So, Cancer, in your present situation, you have the Justice card, Lady Justice, which speaks to me of, um, from a karmic standpoint, things working out in your favor. If someone has betrayed you in the past, if someone has done something unfavorable for you in a love situation. This card represents that you have done the right thing thus far. You have followed your moral guidelines. You have been, eth you have been ethically motivated. Um, you are very balanced. If this is a relationship that you're in, you have, you're very fair. You're very balanced. Um, you're very um, morally aligned. Um, it also speaks to, like I said, um, if things um, in your past were, were a bit up in the air in terms of, you know, um, someone doing something to you that, that was mean or corrupt or um, any kind of thing like that. The Justice card speaks to the universe finding a way to make it up to you. That is that the people that have been unfair will have that karmic debt upon their head and those like you, Cancer, who have acted fairly and have been upright and um, been faithful and have done things morally and ethically, you will um, have the reward of um, good karma, at least um, in this lifetime. So that is your present situation. Um, now, what crosses you is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so as you can see, there are two children out in the cold. Um, and there's a church behind them with, you know, lighted stained glass windows. It's presumably warm in there as a place where they can go feel safe. So um, the crossing card speaks to what helps or hinders you in this situation. And with the Five of Pentacles crossing the Justice card, I do see that it's hindering you. Um, the Five of Pentacles, meaning that you're feel, feeling a spiritual lack in this relationship or in the situation. So um, whether or not you really are um, lacking something, you're feeling that you're lacking something. It's almost like you feel spiritually hollow, like you're not made whole somehow by the relationship or you still want something um, and it's because you can't have it, it's making you miserable. So that is your crossing card, and so we'll be paying attention to these two cards and how they interact um, throughout the, the Celtic cross here. Um, the cards on the right, right side of the Celtic cross represent some external factors, um, and so th these are the sort of things that are in your, um, under your control, um, Cancer. So I also have some runes here, um, along with the Justice card and the Five of Pentacles. Let me just read them. You have Nathi's Constraint, and you have Mana's Female. 
So I see that um, uh, there's some needs that aren't being met for you, Cancer, in your present situation. Um, and I am reading for a female here. Um, so the female in this particular relationship, um, while she's balanced and, and doing the right thing in the relationship, she's been fair and she's been just. Um, she, she feels that her needs aren't being met and um, or if this is you and this is the reason for, for the, the feeling of lack or the constraint um, that I'm seeing here and the runes just further clarify that, clarify that for me. What comes below you um, is a subconscious um, concept or um, it can also represent uh, the root of the situation. I do see the root of the situation as the King of Cups. So this would speak to a man in your life. Um, it can also speak to the energy of a provider, um, water, air sign. Um, so the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and the air signs would be uh, Aquarius, um, Gemini, and Libra. Um, so this could be um, a man in your life um, who is actually very fair and very generous. Um, th this could be you, um, Cancer. And he, um, if he's the root of the situation, then, um, you know, he's actually very, uh, very um, conscientious person. He's, he's very loving, very generous. He's an excellent father figure, he, if he's a father. He, um, the only thing that, the King of Cups could represent if, if he isn't um, being fair and just is a slight drinking problem, but I, I don't see this badly aspected in your case. Um, I do have a rune way down at the bottom of the reading here, and it is uh, Fei. Well, let's see, I was gonna say it was Fehu, it's not Fehu though. Um, this rune is Thursda's Protection. So, um, I do see that um, protection is going to be uh, a theme in this reading, and so um, this is the rune. It's way over here. I, it, when I casted the runes, so I sort of fell in this order. Um, so, um, protection is going to be um, physical protection, defending yourself. Um, Feeling protected is going to be a theme in this reading. Um, but so back to the subconscious. Um, this could be a person that you're not aware of that has an influence in the situation. It can also represent part of yourself um, that you are uh, that that is affecting the the um, present situation. What comes above you is. Um, what you're trying to manifest or your your thoughts on the situation. And you have the Ace of Wands reversed. Now the Ace of Wands reversed speaks to um, feeling fatigued, uh, tired. Um, it speaks of a lack of passion. It can also um, represent fertility issues, um, man or women. Um, it's, it's almost like um, the, the spark is gone kind of thing. So. Um, this is what I'm thinking. You're thinking about the situation is, is that there's, there's something lacking in the passion department here that, um, may have something to do with the King of Cups, um, and you feeling like, um, you know, there is like a, a spiritual lack or, or, um, a perceived lack in the relationship that you're, you're unhappy with. Now, what comes in your past is the judgment card which means that in the past there was a final decision that you that you made or that you arrived at. And um, the decision the decision seems to have been fair and um, has also um, revealed some truth to you. So um, this was a very, very big decision that was made and one that has lasting consequences. And um, for both parties, for both people involved. Um, 
Judgment can also speak to um, review of the past. So you, uh, at one point, were looking over everything that had been done and coming to a just conclusion about it, um, which was either revealed to you or you um, had this epiphany that, um, you know, going forward, things would, would be different. Things would no longer be the same. Um, and of course, judgment is about making a judgment. So um, you could have been judge. You could have been make, be been judgmental. You could have been um, for a good cause, though, for a good reason, of course. Um, in your future, you have the four of swords. So I see that you are definitely taking a break. Um, this can also speak to a period of rest um, after being just very exhausted. Um, it also can speak to a vacation. So. Um, in a love reading, I normally see the Four of Swords as um, someone needing to take a, some time time away um, from that person. It doesn't necessarily mean a breakup. It just means that there's a pause for reflection. And um, when I see the Judgment card in this picture here, along with Justice, I know that um, a fair decision was made um, and that um, the person who's involved in this love situation um, just feels that they needed a, need a break from it um, for whatever um, for whatever reason. Um, whether it was just that there was a lack of passion or that they just felt like they they weren't getting what they needed out of the, the relationship. Um, yeah. So how you see yourself is the star reversed. The star reversed can speak to feeling hopeless and depressed. Um, it just means that you aren't really seeing the light, you aren't seeing the star because it is shining for you, just aren't, you're failing to see it right now. Um, but um, it, yeah, it does speak to me of a, a little bit of depression and just feeling a little bit like, you know, things aren't going anywhere. You don't, you don't know um, how things are gonna turn out. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's a general, um, you know, uh, feeling of just uh, not knowing and not being sure, not really having hope, um, those, those sort of things. Um, how they see you is the hangman. So they see that you are, um, you've put, you have put things on hold and you are um, waiting but doing nothing about it. Um, you, they, they don't see any action coming from you towards them, so they assume that you're just basically standing still in the relationship, that you aren't making a move, so to speak. Your hopes and fears are the Queen of Swords. Um, so this is an interesting card to have in your hopes and fears situation. Um, the Queen of Swords is a very logical woman who doesn't really, she doesn't involve her emotions in making a decision. She makes a decision based on logic and what her um, gut instinct tells her. So she she makes decisions and that's that. You know, there isn't really any, she doesn't really change her mind. She doesn't really waffle about. She's very, um, very witty. She's very clear when she communicates. She is really a, com a clear communicator and um, when she when she says no or when she says um, maybe she definitely means it. So she doesn't mince her words. So I think that you're. Um, I'm reading this as a, as a fear of of you know using your head and not your heart. And um, in this relationship, you know, um, uh, it could be hard to run a relationship based on not having any feelings. So. Um, if it is a fear, it's you fearing that, uh, you know, you, you aren't involving any emotions in your decision. Um, but now if it is, if it's a hope, um, and I really don't feel that it is, then it's you hoping to be, um, more logical and not use your heart in the situation. Um, but I mean, honestly, the Queen of Swords, normally she is the type of woman who, um, she isn't super romantic, she is more um, practical. So, um, I mean, if that's what you're hoping, if that's what you're hoping for, 
Um, if this is a person that you're hoping for, then um, that's fine. It's just I don't see her as a very um, generous, sort of loving type person. She's She uses her head more so than her heart. <clears throat> Your final outcome is the Nine of Wands reversed. And the Nine of Wands reversed speaks to like wanting to give up. Um, you've come really far, and I see that you are starting to feel like letting your guard down. Um, you may find it like you're just really weary of the whole thing, and that you just don't have, you don't feel like you have the, um, the energy to kind of stand up for what you believe in, but you do have, you do have the inner strength. It's just, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not coming out. It's not coming out of my outcome card. Um, it sort of speaks to weariness and a bit of um, someone who's just sort of doubts the other person and doubts their motives, and so they kind of have their defenses up the whole time. Um, but so be careful about doing that because um, you know you you want to keep you want to communicate how you're feeling um, in a relationship. You want to continue to communicate. Um, so, you know, don't give up, but, um, continue to maintain communication about your emotions so that you can, um, you know, communicate if you aren't getting what you want out of the relationship. Um, but yeah, um, uh, that's what I'm seeing so far. Um, for your Oracle card, you have, um, guide, a guide, a mentor, a trustworthy ally, but it's reversed. So let me read you the meaning of this card. Unsure of whether there can be such a thing as a spirit guide. Believing that your spirit guides are the ones you have been told they are without checking in for yourself. It is time to let go of one form of guidance and allow another to come to you and feeling that you do not wish to change. Feeling that spirit and emotions have nothing to do with each other, wanting a guy that looks and feels a certain way rather than allowing them to be themselves. Not wanting to explore the times in which you have inhabited the water as a mermaid and as one of the beings of Atlantis and Lemuria or of Lioness or, or Yeas. But the water guide wishes you to know this is part of yourself more. This card, appearance, this card appearance in a reading for you heralds the arrival of one who you can trust. A spirit guide wishes to make healing contact with you. They are extremely loving, helpful, and they have personality. They are like cool, clear water, unconditionally loving, warm, and very helpful in matters of adaptation and improvement of your human experience. They relate to you. Be ready for your psychic abilities to be similarly challenged. You may find yourself discarding baggage in the form of belief systems that are overcomplicated and power-oriented. You will find all the stimulation you need in simplicity, and yet you will be more awake than ever intellectually. You are more grounded, enriched, and truly yourself than ever before. As you develop your relationship with your guide, be aware that others may find it strange. Always check in. Your guide may be with you for a long time, forever, or for a short time. Never become so absorbed in your guide's reality that you neglect your home. True guides bring us into deeper relationship with the planet, with the oceans and their beings and make us wish to live more deeply here. They fully assist and support our connection. They never ask us to leave or encourage us to have those thoughts of departure before our time has been fulfilled. They will bring us to this, the now strongly and assist us in knowing the past. With less and less attachment, they are profoundly healing and awaken our energy to an extremely vital level till we feel we are overflowing with love. Well, what a beautiful message, Cancer. Um, I really feel this, um, this card resonates with you in this reading. 
and it just speaks to you having a spirit guide that is there for you, someone that you can trust, um, someone you can turn to, and um, all you have to do is call on that person and they'll be there for you. Um, so have faith that, you know, you, if you have questions about your path or you sometimes worry about um, your relationship, you can always call on your spirit guides and they'll be there to help you and um, provide you with whatever divine assistance you may need. All you have to do is call on them and ask for it. Well, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you guys in September for your general forecasts. Have a lovely rest of August. Bye.